Hi nursery, it's Mrs Cripps again and I'm here to read you a story that we're going to be looking at this week. It's called The Very Fidgety Fish by Ruth Galloway. What can you see on this page? Can you see any creatures? Let's have a look. Tiddler was always fidgeting. He wriggled and squiggled. He darted and giggled until his mum got fed up with him. Go out into the sea and swim till you're tired. But watch out for the big fish, she said. So Tiddler swam out of his cave. Hmm, I wonder what he found outside his cave. He dived and he flipped. He leapt and he dipped. He sped faster than a rocket and glided gently like a swan, letting the sea currents fan his fins. But he still didn't feel tired. How could he make himself feel more tired? There were limpets that clung and jellyfish that stung. Tiller swam on towards the big red starfish. I think the starfish might be feeling happy because he's smiling. And butted it gently with his nose. The starfish just smiled. So Tiddler asked the clickety clackety crab to play. But it scuttled off into the seaweed. How do you think Tiddler's feeling now? No one wants to play with him. Tiddler came to a big, dark cave. It looked much more exciting than his cave back home and Tiddler swam in. Do you think that's really a cave? Have a look. The cave looks like it's got eyes. I wonder what it really is. Snap! Tiddler was trapped inside the big fish. He trembled and shivered and he shook and he quivered. He's moving around a lot until the big fish's tummy began to feel very funny indeed. It rumbled and grumbled. It turned and it tumbled. It fluttered and groaned and mumbled and moaned. Suddenly, the big fish did an enormous burp. And what do you think happened? Whoosh! Out shot Tiddler. I think he looks a bit frightened. He must be surprised. Past the jellyfish and the clickety clackety crab hiding in the weeds past the starfish and straight through his own front door. I hope you've used up all that energy, said Mum. But she would have to wait until the morning to hear about his adventures because Tiddler was already fast asleep. And there's the creatures again. I hope you enjoyed that story. What was your favourite part? 